The European Union is showing problems, of course, when it comes to COVID. The new COVID, as the, the level of new cases rises quite sharply in some places, countries like Hungary have taken their own action and have stopped and restricted travel to Hungary from other European countries, except in certain cases. Now, the European Centre for Disease Prevention says the number of new cases is almost back to the level that we saw in March. Parts of Europe are seeing migrant crossings at record levels on some days, and stretched finances mean EU members are at odds over how to divide the responsibilities. Now some EU officials are saying what well, one member, Hungary, is acting illegally in closing its border due to what Hungary says are virus fares. Ilva Johansson is the EU at Home Affairs Commissioner, joins me from Brussels. Commissioner, thank you. This is really straightforward. Hungary is trying to say that only the Czechs, the Poles and the few other countries can cross the border. Everybody else can't. That is against freedom of movement. They must have known that when they made that declaration. What are you going to do about it? Yes, freedom of movement uh, is a fundamental principle and of course also the equal treatment uh, for people irrespective of their nationality inside the European Union and that's why I called the Hungarian minister directly after this and we had a very frank talk two days ago uh, and uh, I was not 100% convinced uh, with his answers, so we also written a letter and look forward to a swift written reply. It's uh, important, of course, that all member states apply to these fundamental principles, even in, if we have these difficult times with the COVID pandemic. I, I don't wish to be disrespectful, but Viktor Orban is hardly going to be upset by a letter from the Commission. The country's already facing an Article 7 proceedings, which seems to be going nowhere. I mean, he knew, the minister knew, that allowing Czechs, Poles and a few others in was against the rules, and they flouted it. So what sanctions can you use? Let me put it like this. When we started with this pandemic, we had heard a lot of member states taking a lot of actions that was not appropriate. But they have all applied to the recommendations that we have put in place and the coordination that the Commission has been taking. And I really think that this will also be the case with Hungary uh, in this situation. And we are now preparing for a new proposal, hopefully tomorrow, that will also help citizens to be uh, aware of how they can travel and what kind of uh, uh, coding they should have uh, for different kind of regions in Europe. But what we can see now is that the pandemic has shifted a bit. Uh, in some member states, in many member states actually, we see a rise in infection rate again. But now it's more local or regional. Uh, it's not all over uh, the whole member states. And that also calls for other kind of measures than those with, that we saw earlier in uh, March and April. The ability of countries to restrict movement from goes against, of course, the, uh, the, the treaties. But, you know, we've seen this over the summer. The Germans, Germans will suddenly say you have to quarantine for two weeks here. The French will say you've got to quarantine for there. I know for myself, Commissioner, trying to organise filming trips within Europe, the EU, it's very difficult. Does the EU need to speak with one voice? Yes, perfectly right. And that's why we are preparing now for new proposals for tomorrow, so that all citizens, all residents, all businesses should know what uh, kind of a colour as a specific region, what kind of criteria based for that colour, and uh, that this would not change uh, uh, frequently, so that can be, uh, they can predict when there might be a shift in that kind of categorising of a specific region region. We don't want the kaleidoscope of different kind of measures and different kind of definitions. And that's why we're putting forward new proposals. Commissioner, thank you for joining us. I do appreciate it. Thank you. You've got your work cut out for you, particularly on the Hungary question. Thank you, ma'am.